Hey guys, it's me. I know it's been a while, but I have a few things that I want to share with you. Um, so this one is a flip book that I made for Sabrina Ann. Um, she's having a little contest for her birthday, so I figured I would have some fun and make a little thing for her. <clears throat> so we'll see if I can get this in frame. Probably not. <laughs> so that's what the front cover looks like and then I stamped her name up there um, and I dyed this with the Heidi Swap teal spray and the paper collection um, got at Walmart <clears throat> and so I just fussy cut the little camera and the little mustache guy got some cute washi tape at Hobby Lobby and these little ones too. Okay, so we'll have to do half and half because I don't think I can fit it all in frame. So anyways, so here's my little letter that I just wrote inside those little uh, post-it notes that fold up like an envelope and then I actually glued one down. Plus you get the little mustache. It's just paper clipped on the little Hello Tim Holtz card which she could take off to use if she wants it. It's just stuck down with washi tape. <clears throat> um, so in here I just have a little belly band and it says journal just some craft stickers that I inked over with peacock feathers and then just some extra journaling cards that I have super cute I guess she could use them on one of her awesome projects <clears throat> and then so this is my mail tag which wasn't a requirement but I thought it'd be fun to put on there just some questions and then some little project life cards a little saying bubble paperclip <laughs> this guy just doesn't want to stay on okay so then Make sure I'm in frame. Yep, okay. So then down here, I have to do a photo of myself. I gotta get that printed out. Um, and then I just stuck this little guy there. This is greetings. Okay, we're in frame. Okay. Um, so then over here, I just had a scrap that I made a little pocket and I made some banners and fussy cut another camera. It's just a little pocket for some of the scraps. I thought they'd be cute. Little journal cards or something. Okay. And then in here, I just have a little bit of goodies. Um, so I gave her some of these. And I just attached those to a Project Life card. <clears throat> and then, I don't know if you can see. Let's see. There we go, that's a little better. But the paper clip says fun, and then the little card says stuff. So it's her little bag of fun stuff. So I found these really cute uh, playing cards. I think I got them at Goodwill. They're Guess the Mustache Game. <laughs> so they have different mustaches, and you guess who they belong to. I thought those would be cute for her to use somewhere or just to have fun with and then of course some more project life cards so those go in here <clears throat> and it was a little too big so I cut the flap and then just glued it down here and I did do the doily punch on the edge just to kind of give some some texture those just slide back down in there and this is my currently I did do a little tab and I stapled it <clears throat> so that's my currently and then um, this is the other half of the project life card that I stuck the post-it notes to uh, I cut it out because I thought it was cute and then so I just inked it with some peacock feathers put it on book page used my wink of Stella and then I covered 
the letters in glossy accents. So I don't know if you can really see if they're, if they're sparkly and shiny, but they are a little bit. So I thought that was fun. It's kind of simple, but it was super fun. There's nothing on the back, just well, I stamped made with love and then my noise, my name. <laughs> so that's that. Um, and then I also, with the scraps I had, I made a little journal. <clears throat> um, so this is this is a bag that I got at Walmart after Easter. They just trimmed it down to fit the size I wanted. And then these are American crafts, I believe. I don't know, I got them at Tuesday morning. Um, the letters and then the spiral clippy and that's holding in some goodies super cute little owl papers and post-it notes i just stuck those to the back of a leftover scrap from a file folder <clears throat> so i left it open so it could be like a pocket so put this back on there we go and then it's just a bunch of scraps but i made it cute so i try to put a little something on on each page this one says laughter and then inside just a little scrap piece of paper she can write on or put a picture on or something so on those short pages i most of the short pages i believe i put tabs on um just a, the uh, negative from martha stewart punch and then just those cute little notepads you get to the dollar store. <clears throat> and this is the uh, 24 pound copy paper, so it's a little bit sturdier. Math preschool writing paper. Ah, they won't turn. <laughs> and this was just a scrap of um, cardstock that I had, so I put some washi tape on it. <clears throat> uh, I believe this is drawing paper. On this, this piece of paper I have a lot of scrap, um, so I just cut out some of the words and used them on some of the pages. Just a little tuck, same there. <coughs> it says, it's all lovely. This is a uh, craft paper that I got at the dollar store, I thought it was cute. <laughs> I had a couple pieces that I would cut down from, because that's what I used to wrap my journals for my Etsy store. So then this is just a, um, a small coin envelope. As you can see I fussy cut one of the little owls and then I glued some book page to make it a little sturdy. <coughs> and inside I just stuck a few of these little guys. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, there we go. I love these little paper clips. I got them at Hobby Lobby. So down here it says, feeling special. <clears throat> and this I just... Um, from the one that I cut for the envelope, I just cut the wording part out and used some washi tape and made it a little pocket. And just some scrap paper and then I fussy cut one of the little flowers from the page with the words. Took the little thing. So like I said, it's mostly scrap papers. Um, with a few exceptions. Um, this is an envelope, like a business mailer envelope. I just cut it in half and punched it and put it in there. It says, me and you. This is a weird shaped scrap that I had, so I cut it down and it worked perfectly for a little pocket. And this was just, um, I had my inks out and I was inking something and my nieces came over and they wanted to play around so they just kind of inked it up. <laughs> I thought it was cute. 
So I stuck that in there for her. Another tuck spot. This I just cut from the word paper. It's a camera, the full pieces, but I had cut it off. So there's another little tuck spot. And like I said, most of these have the little tabs on them. So another one of those. Just a little owl paper I tucked in there. There's lots of journaling places. Uh, so this one, the long one is glued down all the way, and then the green one is a tuck spot. I like the different sizes. It gives a lot of texture. The tracing paper, and I punched both sides. <clears throat> and this is the bottom of the envelope that I stuck in earlier. So I just inked around it, glued it in, and had a little scrap that fit perfectly. There's uh, another, I think this is the other half of that envelope. And I just put a scrap in there. I thought it was cute to use the window. <laughs> and then I had this um, from a mailer that I had, and I it fit perfect to cover the words, so I thought I'd use that. And just another one of those little guys I folded up, stuck them in there. I like this page, it's <laughs> super cute. All the different ways to say hello. It's a good times. And then this uh, was a little party bag that I had got from my mom. Uh, so I sealed this edge. And then I sealed this edge over a, a small scrap that was too small to make like a half a page or whatever. So I figured I could hold it that way I didn't have to punch holes in the bag and lose space. And then out of the pages I used for the cover, I had just enough left over and I made two little tags and stuck them in there. And the back flap and I covered it with a book page. Punched these edges. <coughs> I've also got another owl. This is from the little post-it note, so it's a little smaller. And a piece of tracing paper. Another tuck. Tab. And this is the back of the little uh, Easter bag, so where it had the proof of purchase scanner thing. I just covered it with a piece of drawing paper and then Fusty cut one of the bigger L's. And I left it open here to be a tuck. And then it's also open here. And so I just stuck in some extra pages and some little things with scraps from the front cover. So in the back cover I just put one of those because secretly it's to cover a boo-boo I had. <laughs> I had some glue on my table and it got on there and when I tried to rub it off it got all weird looking. <laughs> so I decided just to cover the back as well. Just to kind of bring some symmetry I suppose. So those are for Sabrina Ann. I hope she likes them. And happy birthday!